In this video, we are going to look at a funny little test that is uh, helped to use to identify uh, Morax cataralis. It's called the hockey puck test. So, what the basic, basically, what this uh, test, what the principle is, is that we take, you know, these. This is, of course, a plate of Morax and let me get my camera good and in focus here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our wand and we're going to put it against the edge of a colony and just gently kind of give it a shove. And the whole colony should move. Okay, let me try it again here on a different one, actually just kind of on the angle here, trying to be cameraman and microtech at the same time. Uh, actually jab the... Uh, wand into the loop, into the auger. So I'm just going to put this on the edge of the colony and just give it a little push and the whole colony should move, which for the most part it did there. It didn't, uh, as you'll see with the negative uh, uh, control or the, the negative that I'm going to show you here with Neisseria meningitidis, when we go ahead and we put the uh, loop to that, it just falls apart. Okay, so that, as you can see, when I went ahead and put it next to it and gave it a push, it doesn't stay together at all. Um, so, as I said, the hockey puck test is not anything that you're going to be able to use to definitively identify Moraxella cataralis, but it is another piece of the puzzle.